the fourth International Coastal Tuna Business Forum. New horizons towards sustainable tuna fisheries. Tuna are known as a highly migratory fish stock and are considered as one of the most important global food sources, especially as an important source of protein, which provides a great benefit for human health. Due to the rising demand for tuna products, the extent of tuna fishing has been increasing. This has resulted in a number of major challenges facing the tuna industry for the future. Globally, tuna utilization faces many complex problems. In 2011, fully one-third of tuna stocks were estimated as being fished at biologically unsustainable levels, while only two-thirds were being fished within biologically sustainable limits. It is clear that it is time for the tuna industry to confront these issues with supply. Currently, the effort to sustainably conserve and manage tuna fisheries has become a primary concern. Regional Fisheries Management Organizations, or RFMOs, presently play a very important role in providing support for research and good management practices to keep stocks at sustainable levels and able to fulfill the high consumer demand. Indonesia is the largest tuna producer in the world and contributes approximately 16% to global tuna production. The average production of tuna, skipjack and mackerel in Indonesia for the last five years has reached more than 1.1 million tons per annum with a value of about 40 trillion rupiah. Supported by a geographical area that encompasses both the Indian and Pacific Oceans, Indonesia has become an important center for the global tuna fishing industry in terms of resources, habitat and also trade. Indonesia has also committed itself to actively participate in supporting sustainable tuna fisheries management as a member of three RFMOs. As a concrete manifestation of the country's national tuna fisheries management efforts, through the Bali Tuna Conference in 2014, Indonesia has also launched the Indonesia Tuna Fisheries Management Plan. Currently, Indonesia promotes a sustainable fisheries development policy through the use of selective fishing gear which is environmentally friendly and is in accordance with the principles of rational and responsible fisheries. For example, through the use of pole and line and hand line fishing gear in tuna fishing activities. Various certification schemes have also been introduced to encourage fishermen to catch fish in an environmentally friendly manner. This is because fish products originating from selective catchment areas and using environmentally friendly methods are much desired by international consumers. Market-based incentives also encourage better management of tuna fisheries and more efforts towards sustainability need to be encouraged. In order to create a new horizon, for ensuring the sustainability and inclusiveness of the international tuna supply chain, the Ministry of Marine Affairs and Fisheries of the Republic of Indonesia, in collaboration with the International Pole and Line Foundation and the Indonesian Association for Pole and Line and Hand Line Fisheries, proudly presents the fourth International Coastal Tuna Business Forum and Exhibition. Through this forum, it is hoped that key actors in Indonesia's commercial tuna fishing and processing sectors can meet and discuss critical issues together with leading international tuna brands, retailers, government officials and other stakeholders in order to develop a globally sustainable business in tuna fisheries for the future. Music